They do? There's some well, what's the diverse pie? Thing? I mean, it's cheesecake or pie? No, it's a cake. No. Cheesecake is a, definitely a pie. No, it's a cheesecake. Cheesecake is a cake. It's definitely a pie. It's but it's a pie. Like a pie. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, there's crust in it. It's, um, crust doesn't, no, it's definitely pie. It resembles a pie. Cake. It's baked. Cakes can have crust. I disagree. Like lemon in a pie form. Um, well, there's lemon meringue pie. That's pretty good. Yeah. Have you ever had lemon meringue? I've never had a pie that way. I kind of like peach cobbler, but that's not really a pie. It's more like a pie adjacent confection. With a minor change in appearance, any pastry that is crumb crust filled with <laughs> custard and baked in my mind. Oh, never mind. In my that's mind, yeah, yeah. I didn't see that. It's a pie. How is this? <laughs> hot takes. Well, I just got my confirmation. Um, yeah, whatever. <laughs> just one person. Whatever. Anyway, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Cedar Square Podcast. Are we recording? I'm yeah, Zach. Recording. <laughs> we are recording. Oh, I'm not recording right here. Oh, you're not? Oh, well. Well, I'm recording here. That's awkward. Okay, here we go. I'm Zach, and joining with me, as always, are Steve and Josh. Yes, hey, it's me. Hello. Yes. Joined with us today is a special guest, our, best, our best friend. friend. Aww, Chavis. what's up? It's Chavis Vandell. That's Ad Bad Ting Two Sixteen <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> wow. wow, DJ yeah. Capricorn on SoundCloud. DJ, yeah. yeah, okay, really? that's not real. You know. <laughs> is that real? It should be. I should make it. Yeah, that's pretty tight. Yeah, that's a good yeah. thing. That's pretty good. That kind of yeah. works. Yeah. Astrology. Already DJ Capricorn. Say what? They're probably already DJ Capricorn. Yeah, yeah. Capricorn One Two Three Four. Yep. Let's see, DJ Cap. Well, you know, yeah, we gotta look at it. If it's not, yeah, then I'm taking it. DJ Capricorn, yep. Is is our, wow. 24 followers. St. Petersburg. I'm stealing it. They're rushing. Stealing. <laughs> <laughs> <Take your word. laughs> 24 followers is not anything that's cost that. I mean, we got 25 subscribers. Oh, shit. We could probably be amount already. Yeah, we can. We, can. we have 25 subscribers? Yeah. Wow. So if everybody from the podcast follows me on SoundCloud. Yeah, I'll follow DJ Capricorn. Day Day pending. <laughs> DJ underscore Capricorn. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just, no, DJ Capricorn 2.0. 2.0. 2.0. Yeah. X, like, X, X. Better than ever. But anyway, how's everybody doing? <laughs> doing pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Good yeah, good yeah good wonderful good pie day. Wonderful pie day. You know, is cheesecake a pie? Pie. Definitely Apparently it's a pie. it's a pie. Well, when you think about it, like lemon meringue pie, it's kind of cheesecake ish, but it's um, like jello in the middle. You swap out jello with cheese. Cheesecake is not a pie. If cheesecake, cheesecake is not a pie. I don't think it cheesecake. is. But why would it be called cheesecake? Because the way you I mean, why would mean things, you know, you know, <laughs> pizza's a pie. Pizza's not a pie. Yeah, they say pizza pie. Yeah, pizza technically. Pizza the pie. It's crust. That does make sense, literally. actually. It is. Okay, like, yeah. it, like the Chicago style pizza, too. It's a lasagna. The lasagna? No, that's. The lasagna okay. is um, a layered cake. Oh, a layered cake? Yeah. It's like, um, so that's a cake. cake. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lasagna is a cake. Pizza's a pie. Okay. <laughs> sounds good. Okay. Um, anyway, um, since Chavez is new to the podcast, feel free to, you know, introduce who is Chavez. Uh, for everybody watching and listening uh, this is a lot of pressure yeah. i'm just like a guy you know what i'm saying yeah i'm just like you know i'm just chilling i like uh my favorite games are smash brothers not really i hate smash brothers i just play it <laughs> that's a love hate. Else. Mm-hmm. yeah i like winning at smash brothers yes. i don't like actually playing it to get better mm-hmm. whereas cuphead <laughs> you like it to get every better. second i play that game i feel like i know who i am Wow. Maybe it's not that deep, but I really it, like that. It's game. okay if it is. Do you hit like no, an no. awakening or something when you like get good at a level at Cuphead, or is it like yeah, when they're like victory, and then mm-hmm. you get off and you get like the little shining medallion because yeah. you got the soul contract, yeah. yeah, and it's like Cuphead. That shit is like crack. <laughs> I yeah. love that shit. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucked up all day, but you succeeded at something. Cuphead. No, I can definitely, I can definitely relate to that. Like definitely the, with Dark Souls and everything. Like right when you finish a boss that you spend like literally a whole day trying to kill, mm-hmm. and it says you know, uh, soul capture or whatever acquired. And it's like shit. This shit's amazing. Yeah. And by hating that like, you die, that you died screen over and over. Then you gotta go back yeah. and get your, yeah, yeah. your souls or whatever. <laughs> uh, 
Dark so Souls. in Dark Souls, can you explain to me how there's like the flame at the end of the game? The flame at the end of the game? Right? Well, the point is like... You can ignite it or not ignite it. Oh, like you're talking about the bonfires? I guess so. It's like the yeah. checkpoints. Oh, yeah, the oh. checkpoints, yeah. Um, it's where you like sit down, you recover, and you like level up and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and then like if you uh, you die, you get sent back there, and then you have to go back to where you died to pick up where you like left your like XP, pretty much your souls, because you use your souls to level up. I got you. And so if you die though, and then you die again without getting your souls, you lose all that progress, straight up. So the genre of dark fantasy sort of RPGs, right, or action role playing games. <sighs> Uh, it's I don't know. That's a yeah. that's a complex question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so like there's a lot of there's a lot more. At first, uh, I thought you were asking like what was the point of the fire and like just in general in Dark Souls, because like in the first game you're trying to like um, like take over like the Lord of um, like Lord Gwent, mm-hmm. who's the Lord of Cinders. Wait, is he the Lord of Cinders in the first one? Did they call him Lord of Cinders? No. No. Yeah. Did you just spoil but, the game for me? No. Whoops. Oh. No. No, I didn't. Is I mean, he? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'm supposed to find out that he becomes the Lord of Cinders. <laughs> I'm, I'm no. watching you, Steve. Yeah. No, you're good. By the way, uh, preview, Josh will be playing Dark Souls. <laughs> By yeah. the way. I've only ever gotten to Blight Town. I mean... And oh, dude, I hate Blight Town. Blight Town's the worst. But yeah. I feel like Dark Souls like does a lot of front-loading with hard... Like... Not hard, but like, well, I mean, of course, hard, but mm-hmm. like annoying kind of deaths. No, they're really frustrating and they're. Because, like, like, even being like Dark Souls 3, you're in like. You're trying to get to, um, like the hub world. I forget what it's called. What's it called? The hub, like, world in 3. The Fire, Fire Link Shrine? Yeah, Fire Link Shrine. And. You're like going down, and there's like literally in the beginning, you can get pushed off the ledge. Yeah, no, that's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I at really least is. died like twice just by being pushed. Yeah, it's pretty, it's, <clears throat> it's punishing. It can be. They yeah. just they don't hold your hand though. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so sometimes it's frustrating because yeah. you don't understand what's even happening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but that's um, why people you know like the mm-hmm. the game in general. It's like you have to kind figure of, it out. Yeah, you know, it's like this is the game you're gonna play it. Here's like a slight tutorial. This is how you slash. This is how you block. There mm-hmm. you go. See you later. You know. Yeah, because yeah. definitely what I liked about it was See you, you could you could play the game without without interacting with any characters. Yeah. yeah. You can you can play the game and, and complete it that way, but if you interact with characters, you get more in depth story. You get you you understand what's going on. Who cares about that? Uh, but it, helps, <laughs> it definitely helps progress the game. Like how it definitely helps you like figure out what what you need to do and everything. Uh, it's a really good game. I really like it. Yeah, good series. But, good series. Both. I feel like the, slowly this channel is becoming a Dark Souls. Dark Souls channel. Yeah. I was about Dark to Souls say that. Park, cause, yeah, cause literally really last <laughs> last podcast we talked about Dark Souls like literally like fifteen twenty minutes. I will try not to. But no, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I, I think it's a cool bit. Honestly, it's just like Dark Souls. Dark, Dark Souls. Pod- <laughs> Welcome to Cedar Souls. Cedar Souls. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I guess you just kind of answered what you've been up to just Dark Souls. Oh yeah, I've been replaying Dark Souls remastered version. Um, I've been playing a lot of Apex um, with the new with the new update recently, Ay. but the new update just mm-hmm. made it shit. It made it shit. Oh, you know yeah. what though? That little bad noise update thing is so annoying. It's well, they, they also uh, a lot. It's a lot of little things that are making it really frustrating. Like definitely the noise. Uh-huh. Like that's really frustrating. And right now. Um, a lot of the like the little symbols like um, oh if your if your gun's automatic or if it's you know, right, right, fire. That... like for the hemlock it's fucking yeah. broken it's, it's saying that the hemlock is is um like auto like oh the yeah the whole time but it's not it's either single and or when you click it you don't know it doesn't tell you huh like, it doesn't it's... tell you it's like you have to keep cl- clicking it until it tells you it'll like you'll finally mm-hmm. you know the prop will tell you it's like um, the fire mode single or auto the thumb thing is, is that it does switch if you press the button and you just have to keep track of it it's yeah. super stupid um I understand though they're supposed to be fixing a lot of this stuff on Monday with like a hot fix I guess but like yeah cause it, yeah. I don't know cause um you noticed how they took out or they added the fill option right the yeah, fill, yeah. The fill option mm-hmm. yeah um apparently that's been fucking up like a lot of servers where like a lot of people are joining with two people mm-hmm. or um or just like just with no one, especially in trio lobbies. 
Um, and just yesterday, I was trying to, I, I was taking, I was trying to get into a duo's, uh, like just single mm-hmm. for me, mm-hmm. and it took like ten minutes just to just to find a game. They wow. um apparently they had it at first to where like six solos could be in a game at a time, and mm-hmm. they had to cut it down to like two or something because oh, okay. it was just, and so it's kind of harder. I, I bet to make, like yeah. make. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I'm liking this too. <laughs> no, no, it's a, it's a. I mean, you know, I always have fun with Apex, but it's just the little things right now that's kind of making it annoying to play. Yeah, yeah. I understand that. I mean, I've been playing it now. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. Been it's been yeah. fun. It's cool. I, I, um, you know, I'm not one for battle royales mm-hmm. in the sense. I mean, I played a lot of PUBG when I came out, mm. but then what was that like 2017 or so? Yeah, mm-hmm. pretty much around then, like. 2017 to now, I haven't touched anything at all. We're watching something on the screen. This is like the training mode. This is like, by this point, I was already bought in. Yeah. Really? <laughs> I was like, oh, this like, is the shit. Like, and then, like, picking the different guns, the different weaponry, I was like, oh, yes. You were, like, exploring the guns and everything mm-hmm. and, like, like seeing what they, uh, what they like was. 30 minutes just shooting at targets. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. I mean, yeah, good. I was doing that too, honestly. It's I'm, just fun. It's just fucking fun. Yeah. Have you figured out how to do it to make the the targets live? Mm-hmm. I can never forget. It's play. like it's the far um, when you go out. It's the far yeah. left tunnel, and you go up there, and then you like, yeah, crouch. Like, a whole, you have to do a whole bunch of yeah. Things, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you can make those dummies come to life, and you can fight them. Mm-hmm. So if you don't want to try to like yeah, you know, start aiming at moving targets and stuff. Yeah, and if you don't want, because you haven't played a game yet, though, right? Is no, yeah, I'm. I'm 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 a Capricorn, so like I have to come into it prepared, like knowing <laughs> that I have a, a certain like plateau of skill, because mm-hmm. I just okay. don't, and then like yeah. knowing that it okay. keeps rank, like that's like I have to just come in with like some sort of like some sort of sauce, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm glad you explained that though, because I was like, what does that mean? Like being a Capricorn? Yeah, <laughs> really I'm a Capricorn. You are? Yeah, yeah he is. Yeah, but I played COD though, so I'm prepared for this. Yeah, <laughs> you you were you were forged. I was forged, <laughs> ready oh. to play shooters. <laughs> um, uh, that's a good segue into what we wanted to talk about next. Um, kind of like since you know you're well, our guest here, just kind of give a sense of like how you got into gaming, and get good thing for for us too because yeah. we didn't really talk about it, like how we got into gaming. So yeah, I want to hear you. Yeah, yeah. That's all. Me, I go first. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, when I was a kid, right, y- mm-hmm. you don't really, like, games were just, like, present. Mm-hmm. And the yeah. way it worked in my house, my brother was older and I was younger, so, like, he always got the consoles and I always got, like, the handhelds, right? Mm-hmm. But I was fine with that. Um, I grew up playing a lot of, like, Pokemon and, like, Mario and then, like, the Sims games. Like, anything you could, like, just sort of, like, build and be creative with is what drew me to it. And then I never really... There was, like, a huge break where I wasn't really into gaming. Mm-hmm. I call those the dark years. <laughs> but, um, honestly, like, hanging out with you guys and, like, Josh was, like, always just pushing me inadvertently, but still aggressively, to, like, you should play <laughs> more video games. Um, and so, like, last year, funny enough, last year, when COVID hit, I was at Target, and I was, like, really wanted to switch, but I was like, no. I had just gotten, like, the stimulus. I was like, no. I need to be smart with this money. And as I was walking out, like, the little kid in me was like, remember when life used to be fun? (laughs) Yeah. So I was like, fuck it. Let me buy, let me buy a Switch. And then from there on out, it just sort of has been like, it's like, um, how do I explain this? Like, now I still feel like I'm a baby gamer, but it's, I'm in an awesome point because I'm like, I have like the wisdom and the maturity of an adult. And like the critical thinking skills yeah. so I'm able to approach it with a perspective that makes it like just it's it's awesome watching myself progress as a gamer you know what I mean yeah. and entering this world cause um I'm gonna take all you bitches out you know what I'm saying no I'm <laughs> but no it's fun like um Cuphead is my shit right now Undertale when I need a break Animal Crossing when I want to relax I guess so. Be creative. Huh? I'm kind of a bitch in Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I kind of want to. I'm like, bye, leave my island. Uh, but yeah, wow. that's that's it. Yeah, that's pretty good. What about you, Steve? Um, I'm trying to remember. So like, when I was a kid, uh, well, it was like four or five. I remember the first thing. Um, my mom bought like a Nintendo, Nintendo sixty four for oh, my family. Tight, tight. 
Um, and I remember she, uh, she got it for Christmas, so I remember waking up for Christmas morning, like, you know, opening up the Nintendo, and she got, uh, Super Mario 64, and I was trying to think of the other one. Oh, that Rocket game. I, I gave oh, yeah, 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 I have it, yeah. Yeah, um, so yeah, so I played those, those games a lot, like, Super Mario 64 was really fun. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's how, you know, I got my introduction into gaming, and then... My parents, you know, they would buy me like, uh, like the. Well, they didn't actually they didn't give me a, they didn't buy me. I got a hand me down Game Boy for one of my cousins. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, you know, started playing Pokemon uh, through that. It was the for the Game Boy Color. Yeah. Um, what color was it? Uh, it was green. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was pretty. It was pretty cool. Um, <laughs> so you're a Gen One Pokemon player? Yeah, I was. Yeah. Um, Oh, no. you played Gen? Uh, you played the original though. Uh huh. Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, okay. I played the original. Um, but at the time, I mean, it was fun. Like I liked it. Um, but I, like I said, I like I mentioned before, another uh, like other times, I'm not really into turn-based games. So I mean, I played it. It was fun because I like collect. You know, like, Pokemon's are cool to collect and stuff. So as far but, as the technology could go at the moment, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Those games hold. Um. Yeah, but at the time, I didn't think of it that way. I was like, oh, I mean, this is fun, but <coughs> yeah. I'm not really having as much fun. Yeah. But, no, Pokemon was definitely fun. Um, Who was your starter? I'm sorry? Who was your first starter? Uh, definitely John Ritter. Oh, of course. Yeah. No, uh... <laughs> um, and then, what happened? Oh, yeah, and then I eventually ended up getting a GameCube. And yeah. I'm going through a whole, like... Yeah, like, you're going through a whole... Go for it, go for it. My gaming history. Yeah, go for it. Uh... And that's when I started going into more like, you know, uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Mm-hmm. I really, really loved uh, Star Fox Adventures. I, I don't know if you guys heard that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's one of my favorite games. Um, yeah. I'm trying yeah. to think of other games. Oh, Double Dash. Um, Pinkum. Really? Yeah, I played it. It was pretty good. It was pretty fun. I mean, my mom, like, you know, she would buy games. Like, hey, try, try, this, try this one out. <laughs> yeah. That's, and, yeah. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it was yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. She didn't know she was just yeah. <laughs> um, Well, because she didn't really want me, like, because I, I didn't really live in a good neighborhood. And um, so she wanted me more to be, like, inside and go outside and, mm-hmm. and like, hang out with, like, the bad kids and stuff. I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, then I eventually I ended up getting, like, an Xbox. But at the same time, I got an Xbox to start into World of Warcraft. And World of Warcraft took a lot of my gaming years. Cause it's just a, that's a great game. <laughs> I love mm-hmm. Warcraft. Were you ever but yeah, level ninety. What's up? Were you ever at level ninety? Level ninety? Yeah. Uh no, actually I stopped playing um like hard like hardcore when it stopped uh when that capped at eighty five uh, mm-hmm. with Cataclysm, um, and I uh, after Cataclysm after uh, Miss when Miss Pandaria uh, came out I I stopped playing because that's when we first came uh started when, uh that's when we started um. Like our first year at college, so oh, I, that's okay. why I wanted to focus more on, mm. on college than than World of Warcraft. <laughs> Smart, yeah, uh, kind <laughs> of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, now I just you know now with the Xbox One, I'll play you know a lot of RPG single players, um, well, a lot of multiplayer games for sure. I, I mean, I grew up you know playing oh with you know like Call of Duty Four. Mm-hmm. Call of Duty Four was such a great game. Some good memories at my house, I would say. Oh yeah, there's a lot of good memories playing like yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, Halo. I yeah, Halo we would um, there'd, we'd get groups of us like four or five people, like usually like four at least for like, mm-hmm. called zombies. Uh-huh. We would set up TVs and just land party. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely for zombies. Yeah, <laughs> so frustrating sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I don't want to take up a lot of time. No, no, go it. for it. No, just, yeah, so yeah, it started when I was born. Yeah. Um, so I, was, <laughs> I, was like, I came out of the womb with a controller. controller. Yeah. <laughs> with an Atari. I was already counting refresh rates oh. <laughs> at a young age. So dumb. <laughs> no, I uh I don't know, I just piggyback off my family is what it was. So whenever I went to like my cousins or my uncles or whatever, I would like I was like, Oh, is he have a PlayStation? I was like, Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Can I play? You know? Mm. Um, but I didn't own my first system maybe until the PS2. My mom got it for me like for Christmas. Got Guitar Hero. But I didn't get Guitar Hero with the guitar. I got it with the controller, you know? So I just played uh, on the controller. Really? You know, when you <laughs> could do crazy. that. 
Yeah, and I was I really know, good at it. <laughs> yeah. It was hard. The only hard part was when it was like fast, like on one note. Mm-hmm. So you just press the one note really fast, you know. Mm-hmm. That's all you could do about it. But, um, I mean, it was all over though once I got the Xbox 360. I mean, that that console I had for like eight years and I bought like three of them because, you know, like it was just so the good. The beginning of the Heartless 64. Heartless, yeah. The Heartless 64, <laughs> yep. Yeah, I was really in the Kingdom Hearts, I think. I, I, I still I still am. I mm. mean, honestly, um, and I I've been an Xbox fanboy since the beginning. But I respect the PlayStation though. I have a PS4 too, and like all those like first party games are super good. Um, God of War, honestly, is like probably one of my favorite games of that year. Make the not the, the reboot. reboot. Yeah, PS4 God of War. Yeah, and The Last of Us Two was so good. But, um, and then, like, play on PC. I got a PC just for PUBG. We all remember that. Yeah, I, yeah, I, would, I, would, I was would ask there? to borrow it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and I, there was a point when I, I know you would get annoyed. Like, well, I was like, I just want to go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, no, I, um, it's so good, though. PUBG yeah, it was, was, it was really fun. That, that started my love of Battle Royales. I mean, I, Apex is... No, yeah. I mean, I've, I heard of, I've heard of a lot of people coming from PUBG to, like, Apex for some reason. I'm not sure what... Because it's not like the movement's the same. No, it's not. It definitely is not. Which is weird, but... Yeah, but fuck Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hate Fortnite. Dude, every... Like, because I work at the elementary school. Yeah. And there's always kids that show up in, like, Fortnite masks and Fortnite shirts. and Yeah. And this one kid, this one first grader, like... He mentioned Fortnite once to a teacher, and the teacher was like, "Oh yeah, my son plays Fortnite, and like he would never stop shutting up about oh, Fortnite." No. It's like he just doors open, huh? <laughs> yeah, he just opened, opened up Pandora's box. <laughs> I um, I don't know. I, I I don't get it. I um, it's not even that it's like cringy or anything with like the whole fan base or anything. It's just like the building. I really hate the building in Fortnite. You no, know, it did. It, it it definitely got like really bad towards like. Again. Like first year Fortnite was fun. Mm-hmm. Like I remember when, because I the reason I played Fortnite was because I couldn't play PUBG. I didn't have a PC. Oh, right. So Fortnite came out on consoles. And I was like, you know, I'll play this battle royale, and it was fun because nobody mm-hmm. knew what like mm-hmm. nobody could build a, a, a fucking skyscraper. You know, the first yeah. time, right? Yeah. yeah. But now you know you shoot at someone, they become a tower. And it's like that's really <laughs> supposed to be frustrating. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Anyway, Apex. Yeah. <laughs> What about you, Zach? What about you, yeah. Uh, poof. I mean, I started, like, with a PS1, probably. Like, I was, like, five, six years old. My mom got me a PS1. I don't remember the game, too. It was Croc. Croc! It won't give you. Yeah. Game. Croc is so good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't think it holds up. I love it. <laughs> it has a place in my heart, But too. anyway, yeah. I, that was, like, one of the first things I played. And... I think ever since then, I was, like, a PlayStation kid, really, um, because, let's see, like, my uncle, who was also super into games, he would always give me his hand-me-down stuff, so it would always be like, oh, you got a PS1, here's all these PS1 games, and most of them I didn't, like, understand, like, I didn't know how to play Madden, but he gave it to me, you know, or he gave me Medal of Honor, he gave me, like, the first Medal of Honor, (laughs) mind you, I was, like, seven, so, (laughs) I was, like... (laughs) <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> you can shoot people like yeah. it was kind of like this crazy thing, even though the game was like super hard. Yeah, because like, you have to stand still, and you, have to, right? yeah, you have to mm-hmm. stand still and aim and like move the controller, like or move the right stick to look around. It yeah. kind of sucked like shooting that game, and yeah. it was always like dark, the levels were all yeah. dark yeah. because they couldn't probably generate light <laughs> on a PS1. So, and then I got a PS2, probably like around. I say like beginning of middle schoolish, yeah. probably like sixth grade, yeah. fifth grade, right. mm-hmm. and my it was a completely hand me down thing. My uncle just gave it to me because he was like in the military, so he didn't have time to play. So he gave it to me, and with it came uh, Final Fantasy X. Nice, I know, and that was it. <laughs> that was it. Oh. <laughs> that was all I played because that was all I had. So I just played Final Fantasy X. Mind you, 
I was like fifth, sixth grade. Uh-huh. So nobody else cared about Final Fantasy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, no Everybody was just... like, I want to play Smash Brothers. I want to play Mario and stuff. I wanted to play Mario Sunshine so bad. Yeah. And I had to go <laughs> home and play, play with Final Fantasy. freaking Titus. Yeah. You know? yeah. Um, but it was okay because I guess like now looking back on it, it's like, oh, well, I had like, you know, good memories playing that game. Because I actually beat it. Yeah. It's a lot of games. It's a long game. And like, and then like, I also got like 10 2 with it also. Nice. So I played both of those and I was like hooked on RPGs since then. And ever since then, I would kind of get like, like, you know, deeper like Kingdom Hearts or like, um, even like Persona. Like, yeah. I got super into that, like, in like middle school. And I think that was around the time I got like super into video games because. Things like G four were out with like yeah. X Play and stuff, so it was kind of normalized to like video games more than like sports, you know. So it felt more like, oh, I'm not alone here. So like, I would just like play games. Eventually, my friend base became around like video game stuff. Um, and I got into high school, got a PS3. Everybody got 360s, but I got a PS3. Wow. <laughs> and the reason why I got a PS3 was because I was like, Final Fantasy 13 is going to come out just on the PS3. And then it didn't. It came out <laughs> on the 360 too. <laughs> yeah. 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 So it was like, well, shoot. But anyway, yeah, I got a PS3. I was like just a PS3 gamer. And then PS4 came out, played that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And basically, yeah, I've just been playing mainly yeah, like RPGs, fighting games. I got super into also as a kid. My uncle gave me like, Capcom versus SNK. Oh, uh, okay. I was kind of waiting when you were going to mention fighting games. Yeah, too. fighting games, yeah, <laughs> was also like a parallel too because, yeah, when Michael gave me my PS2, he gave me Final Fantasy X. But about like a year later, he comes back with a bunch of games and like half of them were like fighting games. It was like Marvel vs. Capcom, Street Fighter III, um, Capcom vs. SNK2, and like, I mean, I was hooked. From then on, with like fighting games. Did like, you primarily play that by yourself, or did you have? Uh, to yeah, I played it by myself. I play. I would try to play with my neighbors, but by that point, I knew how to play fighting games. Yeah. So it wasn't fun for them, and yeah. they wanted to just play like Smash or something, and I would play that too with them or whatever. And I wasn't very good, but I'd play with them. But I'd be like, oh, we should play Capcom vs. SNK two, and they'd be like, what? What is mm-hmm. that? <laughs> I was like, it's a good game. You don't know what you're talking about. You know, <laughs> you know, Terry Bogard. <laughs> yeah. But they, yeah, they definitely were like, no, this game's kind of lame. So I would mostly play by myself, training mode or whatever. It wasn't until like I got out of high school when I found people who also knew how to play fighting games, yeah. like that weren't online. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, online's hard. Yeah, I think the one person I know is just Miguel. Yeah, yeah. Was like, well, besides that, yeah, yeah. But Miguel was like the only person I knew who was into fighting games. Yeah. It's hard to find people, especially, like, around here, where it's, like... So, luckily, like, Fresno has, like, a little community of people, and I always, like, hit up them to, like, play, like, Street Fighter or something. Hopefully, once when, like, everybody's vaxxed and all good, we can go back to, like, in-person fighting game stuff, because Street Fighter Online kind of sucks right now, <laughs> so <laughs> I can't wait. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much Dude, it. online fighting games just suck in general. Yeah, <laughs> it's, like, either, like... Like the connections are really bad, it's super mm-hmm. buggy, mm-hmm. or like the people you play with like are toxic. Mm-hmm. So I no... remember I was playing what the game was. <coughs> oh, it was um <coughs> Injustice. Yeah, Injustice. Sorry, uh, Injustice. It was Injustice, <laughs> and I mean, I remember the first the first uh, online game I I went into online match. Mm-hmm. I went as uh, as Aquaman, yeah. and I fought uh, Solomon Grundy. Mm-hmm. And this that dude has like crazy like crazy combos to where you can't do anything if you get uh, caught, locked into the combos. Mm-hmm. So like I like the match started, he started doing his combos and like I didn't even get a punch in. Like yeah. he just started like tossing me around and everything. Yeah, I hate that. It's like the the the, the skill difference is not even fair. Yeah, it, it really isn't. Yeah. Plus matchmaking kind of sucks in fighting games, too. Mm-hmm. When you think about it, so it's like oh. Well, at least, like at least I like can like COD or a battle royale. Like you're you're in a team, you know, so it kind of bounces out that way. But mm-hmm. it's just like one v yeah. one, you know. Yeah. And it's it's and like you're either gonna beat them or you're not. Yeah, and that's also like a big thing too with like 
fighting games why people don't like them because someone has to lose mm. you know no matter what there is no second place yeah you know even with smash you can be second or third yeah if you play in a party yeah but fighting games is like you won or you lost and some people don't like to lose a lot so that's yeah. why they don't want to play too long for yeah. a fighting game so that's why i feel like a lot of people just like like we'll try a fighting game and then give up because they lose a lot it's hard to stay motivated yeah when you keep losing yeah. but if you access the rage and own it. <laughs> you rage. can st- st- probably still lose but like at mm-hmm. least you'll get better at some point yeah yeah, yeah totally and that's what I'm really addicted to like the feeling of, the feeling of getting better the grind. Something. the grind yeah it doesn't feel like as much of a grind because you don't see a level up you just feel yourself doing things mm-hmm. you couldn't before mm-hmm. I think that's really rewarding in fighting games um, but yeah that's me yeah yeah yeah, I'm surprised you didn't talk about Resident Evil at all. Oh, yeah. You know oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's because I didn't get into it. <laughs> I was waiting for Josh to be like, and then I played Resident Evil 2. <laughs> I grew up around people playing Resident Evil. It's and a I, thing, you know? Yeah. And so I didn't really get to experience it until I was older, until I was like in high school. Yeah. And um, that is, um, maybe I, yeah, I forgot. Because <laughs> I remember like one of the first like nights like we lived together, mm-hmm. like just me and you. Yeah. Um. You were like, you want to watch me beat Resident Evil 2 in one sitting? Oh. In one sitting? Yeah. I yeah. Still, yeah. I can and, still do that. And it was like 1 a.m. Like, and yeah. I was like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, this game's so good. It is good. You will not change my mind on that. <laughs> he's like, watch this puzzle. This puzzle's so sick. It was like. I, was like, I oh. said that? Yeah. You were, yeah. Yeah. You were like, this puzzle's so tight. It was the, it was the chess puzzle. Oh. That's not a good puzzle. Yeah, you were trying, saying it was good. The fuses? Yeah. Nah. You were like, this is a smart puzzle. Like, it's smart. Like, I was like, for you sure. You just wanted to flex that you could yeah. beat yeah. the game more. Yeah. Probably. And, then, <laughs> yeah. and then you got me to play Resident Evil 1, which was like my first Resident Evil to play. The OG or the it's remake? Like one remake. Oh, okay, good. Because I didn't grow up playing Resident Evil, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like, you were like, oh, you should play this game. It's so good. And I played it. I was like, I hate this. It is good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> what? Like now, but when I was because I was like the only tank control game I played before that was Silent Hill, mm-hmm. and like that was like way back when. So I didn't like keep doing tank controls. Right. Tank controls like if I got used to tank controls quicker, I probably would have liked it way more. But yeah. I play it. Now I really love it. You got to know how to play it. Yeah. Now I know. I know. I know how to control the character and like enjoy Resident Evil. Especially Resident Evil 1 and like because it's like it's more of a puzzle game when you think about it. Yeah. It's like resource management meets puzzles. Yeah, and the tank controls are interesting too because that that's kind of what helped create that that sense of like, oh, like I'm limited in what I can do and move and so it's like you're mm-hmm. there's more like dread yeah. and zombies are like just yeah, crawling towards yeah. you. Yeah. It's supposed to be hard, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a survival war. Yeah, it's survival. supposed to be. Yeah. I don't know. Five and six, though. <laughs> Five and six. I mean, yeah, whatever those are. Yeah. There's Evil Village. Oh, towards the end. Yeah, Resident Evil Village, which I don't think there's much news on that this week, but whatever. Um, what news is there, Zach? Okay, let's, are we going into news now? Yeah, we can. Anybody else got anything they want to share before we get into news? Everybody, <laughs> special guests. I have questions. Special guests. Yeah, oh, no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. But they're like more like ominous questions, like like open ended. Like yeah. yeah, they're not like specific, like one and done. We should probably handle the news and then like yeah, sure. Okay, keep them in mind. Keep them. I will. Keep them in the yeah, background. Write them down. Okay, so I guess <laughs> the news. Ding 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 ding. Don't ding. Worry. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking telegraph. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, um. You move in the TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's on a swivel. Because then you can look at yourself. Yeah. Um, I turn it off. <laughs> what are we doing? News. News. Oh. So, first story. Let me. Let me. Pepsi do. Zero. Can we take breaks or no? It's just gonna. It's just one stream left. You want to take a break? You want I have to pee. You need to pee? Oh, yeah, yeah. All, All right. right. Cut. All, All right. We'll take a break. <laughs> we'll be right back <laughs> <laughs> after these messages. And we're back <laughs> from a, a break, I guess. Sorry. No, no, it's all good. Nice from break. Yeah, uh, yeah. We're Shabbat recharged. Sh- we're recharged. Sauce. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're, we're, we're back and better. 
Um, <clears throat> I guess let's get into this news. Yeah, what do you want to talk about? Starting off hot, we got Elden Ring leaks. Well, I guess it's not too hot this now. It's been, it's been about a week. But Elden Ring leaked. What leak? Like a trailer. Mm. Oh, you know what? Like, to be honest, I didn't watch it because I didn't want it to be. I didn't want to be spoiled in you know, any way. It's it's just like a basic trailer. Yeah, it feels like a standard trailer. Do you want to watch it now? It's on the screen, so I guess <laughs> spoiler warning if you were wanting to watch this trailer raw. What's but. the likelihood that? what's in the trailer is going to actually end up in the game. Who knows? Because um, that that's a good point, actually. Yeah. From Software does that a lot, where they'll make a trailer to a game, and it'd be completely different. They did that with Bloodborne. It was called something else, and the game looked nothing like what it is when it came out. So they do that. <clears throat> I need, I'll look it up after this, but basically, yeah, Elden Ring leaked. Uh, when did this come out? Um, I want to say... March 1st, March 1st, so actually almost two weeks, yeah, exactly two weeks ago, this leaked, and, um, yeah, it was pretty crazy when people, um, were talking about it, it was like, whoa, this thing's real, like, cause it was announced, what, two, three years ago? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was announced a long yeah, time ago. Yeah, a long ago. time ago. Like, Game of Thrones didn't suck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Game of Thrones did not talk yet. So, um, that's, yeah. Go and I know definitely a lot of people are waiting for, like, an uh, announcement. I think I think during the PS5 launch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. a lot of people were expecting Elden Ring news, but nothing came out, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, this leaked. It's this not even technically out, out, I guess. This is just a leak. Yeah, this is a trailer. Um, it looks like it's from Bandai and Namco Europe or mm-hmm. something. So, it looks like somebody got it, and I was listening to another podcast and they were saying that usually these leaks happen when a trailer gets shipped to like the production company or whoever's publishing it for them to put up eventually okay so that's why this is happening so that that's a good thing though because usually when publishers are being but rather means they're ready to publish the game mm. so, yeah. so, be so the up. game is almost it could be potentially ready so you know that's a good thing uh, or they could just be like you know screw it like back to the drawing board people <laughs> or something you know who yeah. knows it's hard to say that's literally all we got uh, but let me look at so yeah I think we're just waiting for a new from software game because I mean, yeah. Demon Souls was just a PS5 was it, exclusive. it wasn't even them though you know oh yeah it wasn't right it was uh, oh, Blue Point yeah. oh the yeah people who, who remade um, what's it called um Neo? No, they did uh, Shadow of the Colossus remake. Oh, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, for PS4, so it's pretty, like, not them. And that's mm-hmm. probably going to be weird when you go back to that because it'll probably look... You know how, like, from software games have that little level of jank? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's definitely not there in Demon Souls. Oh. So I feel like that that's the problem. But, yeah, you see, this is, like, the original Bloodborne trailer. And it's, like, terrible frame rate. <laughs> that is this, terrible. this level does not exist. Like, it's all cut terribly. Mm-hmm. And Why does that look so bad? I don't know, but this was at least, like, this is like a gameplay thing that they're showing. And, like, people are like, oh, this is this is Bloodborne. But mm-hmm. it was called Project Beast. And, like, so this, this makes me think that it might be one of these situations where it's like, they had something and they gave it to somebody to see. Mm. But that got leaked and that might not be what they're going to actually show. So... I don't know possibilities you know mm-hmm. well I hope it comes out soon because like I like when studios like kind of just like announce it real or announce that it's coming out real quick you yeah. know and like they market it really well and really fast and <clears throat> yeah. like it just you get a lot faster than you expect it and you're not having to like really wait you mm-hmm. know but then again this is from software and they kind of just do whatever they want at this point mm. not I don't think I, I mean from software is kind of a weird studio because I feel like I don't think they've hit like a level of status where they could just do what they want. No, but they do. They do have a good following. I mean, they do have like the Dark Souls community definitely will follow. Yeah, people back them up. I feel honestly like From Software, like, is what Blizzard should be, where like they just they stick they stick true to themselves. Yeah, 
And they didn't sell out. Yeah, they didn't sell out. Yeah. And they kind of just um, do what they think is good, not mm-hmm. what shareholders think is good. I get it, because probably from software it makes pennies to dollars that Blizzard, yeah. or I should say Activision, Activision Blizzard. Activision Blizzard, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, I think that they're still, they're on the right path, and I hope they stay that way. And I hope Elden Ring's good. I hope so, too. Are you saying you don't want loot boxes in Elden Ring? <sighs> Jesus. That's a hot take. No, I'm just kidding. That's a hot take. <laughs> I, like a hot take. I want loot boxes. <laughs> you know, that yeah. makes the game more enjoyable. Yeah, to me. yeah. more loot boxes. Yeah. More gambling. Yeah, for kids. <clears throat> I need that. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Um, next up in the docket, we have Marvel's Avengers leveling sucks. Yes. Um, so Marvel Avengers. Anybody play the game? No. Exactly. I am not. <laughs> I am not. The game did not do very well. Yeah. I, 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 do you, have you seen that Big Five commercial? No. Is it Big Five yeah, commercial? Big Five commercial. <laughs> With Marvel's Avengers, the game? Yeah, Marvel's Avengers. Yeah. And they used this one Twitch streamer, and it's just like, it's a really bad commercial. <laughs> they, oh, I think what you're talking about, yeah. You, the, you have the gum one, yeah. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, the game <laughs> is... They make her ass so plump. I'm sorry. Yeah, the <laughs> game. The game is like pretty much what you just saw. <laughs> yeah, pretty much like you know, it's it's destiny like, mm-hmm. in the sense that you need to grind your characters and like there are like chances to get loot and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and that's kind of how the game builds. And there is a there is a story mode. And originally, I, I looked this up. You can now replay story levels. Yeah, you yeah. couldn't before. <laughs> Yeah, I heard about that. Which too. I don't know why, but that's the that's what they do. Super weird, considering I feel like I heard that the story was actually the strongest thing. The yeah. campaign was the strongest part about the game. Yeah. And so if you can't replay it, you can't even replay the strongest part of the game. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and the gameplay is not that good. It's it's okay, and yeah, you you kind of build up your characters. So there's leveling. Mm-hmm. And there's purchasing skill points yeah. it, it, it's pretty much a game as a service okay so like they they don't let you play the game after you finish your effort so what could you do there is like optional missions and stuff side missions I side guess. missions it's like post like, con- post story content yeah. that you just repeated those over yeah and then there's DLC too and the DLC was kind of a funny thing because originally they had plans so they were gonna release two different Hawkeyes like actual Hawkeye and Hawkeye's daughter, mm-hmm. and Black Panther. Okay. So they were on path to release Black Panther last year, but it was around the time Chadwick Boseman died. Mm-hmm. So they said, "Hey, we yeah, better, because, we better not." Yeah, trying to profit. We on better, it. yeah, we better not. We're gonna hold off on it. But you know, it's been almost a year now, and still nothing. And they haven't that. even talked about it. And it kind of sucks because some people, you know, paid yeah. for a season pass. Mm. So oh. it's kind of like, yeah, money is there <laughs> that they need to you mm-hmm. know, get. And same with the Hawkeyes. I think one of the Hawkeyes came out already. Mm-hmm. I don't think both of them are out. And then PlayStation users were off, like offered like a limited Spider-Man. So yeah. Spider-Man was going to be in the game, and there's been nothing about that either. So the game's kind of just on like a, a downward spiral. So now, to combat that, Square Enix, or uh, Crystal Dynamics, I guess, is uh-huh. really the studio behind it, has went ahead and changed the leveling system so that way the game is, um, takes longer to level. So the grinding is longer now. <laughs> so that way it gets possibly <laughs> When I saw that you put that the leveling changed, I was like, oh, they must have improved the leveling in some sort. Yeah. Uh, I didn't expect that they yeah. just made it longer. Yeah, they were. Uh, wow. This article comes from PC Gamer, um, and it says right here. This is a good quote. Elaborating on those pacing issues, Crystal Dynamics explained that players were leveling up too quickly, often gaining two to three levels per mission, and that the influx of new skill points could be confusing or overwhelming. <laughs> These changes could slow things down, giving players more breathing room to explore builds, adding a total of three to five hours to. Uh to your climb to the level gap. So basically saying 
um, that you need significant amounts of XP required to level up from 25 to 50. Um, That's ridiculous. Do they have microtransactions? There are microtransactions. Can you buy XP? I I do not know. Because I didn't play much Um, of it. I didn't even finish the story. I was like, this game kind of sucks. And I just... I gave it to my old roommate. I was like, play this. <laughs> yeah, I was watching someone recently talk about this, and um, they're speculating that they're um, going to end up making the game free-to-play. Free-to-play? I, I would yeah. imagine. That would make more sense if at it's this free point. To- but that kind of sucks if you pay for the game. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, $60. Yeah, it's you like, know. you can't get that back. Yeah, yeah, and you were, you know, and, and it sucks because this game is totally a games of service looking game now. Yeah. And it sucks because the game wasn't free. You know, people paid money to I mean, play this them. game. I mean, them, you know? I mean, I mean, I kind of, kind of felt this in a way when they made Fallen Order free. Yeah, because I bought Fallen Order last year. Oh, Fallen yeah. Order is free or yeah. Game Pass? Yeah, through Game Pass. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. Oh, yeah, through the EA. Free. Yeah, but I mean, it's a fun game. That's yeah. why I'm not really yeah too ticked off about. Yeah, it. at least you still got a, your experience. Yeah, and your money's worth at least mm-hmm. that you could say. And it was a good a, game. Yeah. <laughs> it was a good game. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> Someone paid sixty bucks just to hate this, and now they're like, "Okay, I know you hate this." So you bought. What price? if you hate this longer? I did it. pay full price. Yes. Damn. Because I was like, I think it was like last year when this game came out, and I was mm-hmm. like, "There are no games coming out. I'm just gonna buy a game." I remember. Home. Yeah, I remember this game was definitely advertised like two, like a lot two weeks before it came out. Yeah, and I saw a lot of like mm-hmm. advertising. Yeah, before. and my roommate at the time, Mondo, he was like, "Oh, this game looks sick." Let's play it and I was like sure yeah. and then I played it and I was like not good this isn't very good like I'm getting destiny vibes in the worst way and sure enough yeah just what we suspected but yeah if you I feel bad if you want to yeah I'm, I'm sure there are like a small community of people that play this that mm-hmm. like it mm-hmm. but it kind of sucks because mm-hmm. yeah they're totally kind of screwed out on this one that sucks, man. Because that's not a bad studio either. I feel like it's just all an investor's thing. Because they they make um, Tomb Raider too, right? That yeah, studio? yeah, they make Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider's so good. Yeah. Yeah, it could have been like a Square Enix thing where it's like, this needs to be a games of service. You know, we need to we need to make a profit off of this. That sucks because they're going to kill the <clears throat> studio. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, true. That's, that's the name of the game. Hopefully, hopefully those people are still having a job next year. But we'll see. Mm. <clears throat> uh, check one, make sure. So, how you doing, Shabbos? Hi. Hey, pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I'm chilling. I'm just like a sponge, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Just looking all this stuff up. Maybe right, one yeah, day. For sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> Take all the knowledge. On the, uh, <laughs> move on. Apex Legends. Apex Legends. Legends. Apex is Legends. Now out the game on that we love to talk about. I know we were already talking about this, but Apex Legends is now on the Switch. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? You said you tried it out. Oh, right, I tried right. it out. I don't have anything else to compare the gameplay to, but the experience was, you know, it, it was like any other time when you buy a new game, even though it was free. Um, mm-hmm. I liked it. I was immediately very immersed in the world. I don't really like this guy, just because I don't, I'm sorry. But mm-hmm. everything else, like picking out the first character, I picked Lifeline. I really was attracted to, like, the whole medic aspect. I like. I like that being that sort of like person on the team mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then I've only gone through the training but it's really fun I could really see myself like getting really really heavy into it yeah yeah, yeah. I mean y'all ain't feeling it because of the controls because of the switch controls no, no it's, it's not that. it's not even that yeah it's, it's performance it's, really. it's because I mean I like played the game when it first came out right like mm-hmm. two years ago now mm-hmm. and um on xbox and I've played it on PC too, and I played it on PlayStation, and I've gotten spoiled with like a sixty frame per second, um, like uh, you know, frame rate, and like not only that, but like the the resolution and like the draw distance, like just like little things that you notice, like you wouldn't notice mm-hmm. otherwise, like if you hadn't experienced something better, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Better. Or is it like it, No I mean It's better Like it's just It just runs better You know It's not even like It's like um, You can have a preference But like you're, It's still a matter of fact That it runs better On a Like a Better hardware You know what mm-hmm. I mean Yeah mm-hmm. Like more efficiently And mm-hmm. smoother And stuff Yeah I I only played 
like two matches of it. Uh-huh. Um, I did have a lot of frame rate issues. Mm-hmm. A lot of yeah, like draw distance issues, uh, pop up textures all the time. Um, you know things I would expect from the Switch for it. Yeah. But I think the good thing is like kind of what like got people like Chevis to play. You know, yeah, people, like who don't have a nice console like a like a PC or like a high end Xbox, mm-hmm. they could still play the game and then it's still there yeah the game's still there if you don't play it on another console you don't know what you're really missing Mm -hmm. so i think it's fine in that aspect it runs (laughs) it's pretty impressive i mean considering it's like it's still a first person shooter on the switch you know and like i mean i guess there's doom on it but like this is like a pretty big map you know and it's 60 people on it you know it's still the full game and I think the fact that they captured that and they still have all the smoke effects and all all the different legends and all of their skills, like yeah. it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Is this your first like first, Yeah, I don't play these shooting? kind of games at all. So like this is like my gateway drug. So yeah. I think this is probably they're planning like they're like like you guys said, like these people aren't gonna know what they're missing, but mm-hmm. if it gets them into this gaming mm-hmm. and then gets their attention focused on this and we can get them into like this style of gaming and buying whatever that we need them to buy (laughs) to get into this style of gaming like they got me so well and it's free so it's so approachable you know it's like why not try it why not try it totally Um, in fact we tried it you know (laughs) it's just because we had the switch you know Mm -hmm. we're like all right let's see what how this runs you know were you able to transfer your account no Uh, but I think they're working on that they're working on like a one account for all system yeah Yeah. so what console do you usually play this on the Xbox Xbox, Series X I would say 360 (laughs) Xbox (laughs) yeah yeah um, however, I will play it on PC sometimes, but I play with the controller, so I'm kind of out matched mm-hmm. because like people on mouse and keyboard are way better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to, like Makes usually. Sense. But yeah, it's out. So if you haven't played it, go try it. I mean, it's free. You have nothing to lose, I guess. Yeah, not I mean, sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored yet. <laughs> I feel like, and then, I think it has room to grow too. I was watching like a Digital Foundry thing. I think it was mm-hmm. Digital Foundry. They were like testing the frame rate and stuff. Yeah. And the frame rate was dipping at like random times, and so that means that it's not something specific. That's, or rather, it's not like the action that's making the frame rate drop. It's something completely separate that probably. I mean, I feel like that happens on the other clients too, anyways. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Frame rate dips are inevitable. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Final Fantasy VII remake integrate. This is Final Fantasy remake plus basically for PS Five. Uh-huh. So if you're an Xbox gamer, sorry, but basically it's just a it's a it's a remake 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 remaster uh, remake of a remaster a remaster, remaster of a remake. remake. Yep, um, it was, it runs the game at sixty, um, for Final Fantasy VII remake uh-huh. and um, add I think new textures, ray tracing, etc., all the good stuff. Mm-hmm. But on top of that, new content <laughs> um, it includes a new episode with. Yuffie. Yuffie. Which, yeah. Very polarizing character in the series. What? Some people hate her. Why? Huh? Because, I mean, she's kind of kind of annoying. In Kingdom Hearts, dude, I was in love with her. But in Final Fantasy VII, <laughs> she's kind of annoying at times. In the original game. Mm. So some people have you know mixed feelings about her being in this. Um, which, this is kind of interesting because it's it's kind of referencing a lot of stuff from Dirt of Cerberus. Yeah. Which people don't want to exist, but it exists. And Tetsuya Nomura wants you to know it does, basically. <laughs> I heard that there were, like, um, there's a plan to, like, remake um, the PSP games. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was also announced with this, too. Right. Um, yeah, Final Fantasy something. Let me see. Um, there's a mobile game. In oh, you're talking about the Battle Royale? No, that's a different thing. <laughs> that looks awful. What? Yeah, the so, Battle yeah. Royale? But anyway, let me, let me finish this. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll get to that later. Okay. But yeah, so yeah, it's a brand new um, thing with Yuffie, and it's just basically just more content for the game. It's free if you paid for Final Fantasy VII Remake mm-hmm. on PS4. Mm-hmm. So, that's pretty cool. That's cool. But from what I'm told, the Yuffie stuff will cost money. Oh, I'm not, I'm not sure, but the like, upgrade to PS5 will be free. Like the LC low. But this will probably cost money, which makes sense because it's Square Enix and they love money. 
Hence our last yeah, story with Marvel. Yeah. <laughs> They're not going to be like, hmm, nah, this... Um, but this makes me a little worried because it's like, mm, I feel like we're not going to do a Final Fantasy VII Remake 2. Yeah, the episode 2, right? For a while. You only got like the first disc you, of the original game in the remake, right? I had not even... It was like the first like eight to nine hours. And how many hours would you say is in the original? Like 30. That's 30, pretty much. Yeah. So, <laughs> like... There's a lot of, like, they even introduce it. Yeah, you fear any of that. You just left Midgar. Like, you know, it was the end of the game. That's the end of the game. Yeah, that's crazy. So, kind of worries me that this game's not going to be out for a while. Um, but, I mean, I guess it is. Yeah, at least it looks beautiful, right? I yeah, guess. yeah. At least it looks beautiful. <laughs> at least they're doing something, I guess. Like, it looks really nice. I mean, I'm uh... I don't know anything in Final Fantasy. But Where's Final Fantasy VIII really nice. remake? <laughs> Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis is the thing Josh was talking about. Oh, yeah, you should check this out, Steve. So this is... <laughs> oh, no, this isn't the Battle Royale. Oh, no. Uh, this uh. is the phone game that is being translated to... <laughs> Another possibility for it. <laughs> for English That's weird. enjoyment. Because this um, was on PSP, you said? Oh, it's on mobile. This, is a mo- this was a phone game in Japan mm. that's being translated and put for America... Or I guess the rest of the world, mm-hmm. and it's basically a retelling of Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy, um, I think Crisis Core. Yeah. Nice. And that's, nice. that's a good game. I think Advent Children as well, and I think stuff before Advent Children, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be episodic. It'll be on iOS and Android. Uh, it's cool because yeah, it's literally just a retelling of seven, at least. So what is, yeah, what this is, is what some people just wanted, honestly. Instead of seven remake, they just wanted prettier Final Fantasy seven. Mm-hmm. And the combat, I don't know if it's gonna show. It's kind of like a tactics looking thing. Oh. Uh, uh, um, but it it's weird because the combat oh goes back into Final Fantasy seven remake looking combat, like the the graphics. Oh. So your on cheap, mobile? Yeah, this is phone. Like, this is what the combat looks like, but when you're out of combat, it goes back to the chibi looking cool. character. Oh, so it's like Seven. It does yeah. look like turn based. Yeah, though. it's turn based. Yeah, it's basically the original game. Just with the graphics of the remake. Yeah. That's interesting. So, this, I mean, this is what some people wanted. So, you know. Yeah. Oh, see. Oh, even Dirge of Cerberus. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, you're going to get all of that. Crisis Core was good, though. On mobile. I don't know if it'll cost money. Who knows? Maybe. But you think yeah. they'll give that all for free? I, I doubt it. <laughs> but it's episodic and then start to twenty twenty two. This though is what Josh was talking about. This is a battle royale from Final Fantasy Seven, also on mobile, and it's also canon, and it's called the Final Fantasy Seven, the First Soldier. Battle royale, like a shooter. Mm. Um, well, iOS and Android. For iOS and Android. A shooter. Yep, a shooter. Like, do they have weapons in? Like, yeah, there's guns. guns. There's guns and stuff. Yeah, but like, um, but like, do you actively use them? Like, no, not like that. No, like, like Barrett has a gun. <laughs> you no sniping. Nice. There is not like this is this is not Final Fantasy Seven combat at all. Like, there is no ridicule like to, sh- yeah. to aim and shoot. Like that's a uh, uh, Mirage, not Mirage. Uh, Horizon? Yeah, Horizon, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, and they're doing, like, magic and stuff, too. Like, I don't yeah. really understand um, if there's, like, like, um, like character skills or, like, legends, you know, or heroes or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, as, I mean, I don't know. I don't really understand why they're doing this. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be a market for this game. In, yeah, in I, I mean, yeah, and even America. Like... Uh, what does look, this is probably free to play yeah with mm-hmm. in-game purchases probably and I think this is like there another way for them just to be like quick money come on come come get your loot you know but it looks okay I mean mm-hmm. I didn't no one asked for this but <laughs> it's there so I guess it's there now whatever um, so yeah a lot of Final Fantasy 7 news but yeah pretty much what all this says is like yeah, we're not getting Final Fantasy VII Part Two for a while. Boo! I say twenty twenty five, earliest. Can Xbox just get the remake 
It will. I think the time exclusive is almost up. It's almost March. They haven't said oh, anything no, May, about it. No, April, I think. April. They haven't said anything. Yeah, I don't know. This That, that kind of sucks. Because, yeah, this was all at a PlayStation State of Play thing mm-hmm. where they announced this. I don't know. Maybe <clears throat> it'll come to Game Pass. Yeah, maybe. That would probably be nice because I don't feel like paying for it again. Mm-hmm. So, we'll see. <clears throat> And moving on, we'll go cover that later. Epic buys Media Tonic Games. What? People made Fall Guys. Oh, I didn't know that. They have been bought out by Epic. And they're part of the Epic Games family. So the people who made Fall Guys, the hit quarantine game of last year that quickly got forgotten about because of Among Us. Yeah. Is, Among Us is on mobile. Yeah, it's it's literally on anything. I feel like that shit's probably on calculators. <laughs> Not calculators. <laughs> on a Texas instrument. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, Fall Guys has been is now part of Epic Games, Mediatonic um, Studio from UK, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, they got purchased out. So have they made any other games, or is it just really Fall? I Guys? really think, I think just Fall Guys. I think. Fall Guys, but that could just be being. They, I doubt it's their very first game that they made it in the studio. Yeah. No way they made a hit game. No, okay, they they made other stuff. Oh, okay. Now they're buying numbers. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, those look fun. <laughs> yeah. UK huh. based team from London. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> oh, they have multiple studios. Oh, they have one in Spain. España. Brighton. Brighton. UK. UK. Yeah. Wellington, I think Spain. Yeah. Well, well, anyway, let me see. What other games do they have? I want to see. I feel like is that it? Is that all they have? Yeah. Yeah. Classics. Oh, right there. Oh, they have the Strike Rivals mobile. So it looks like they've been relatively a smaller studio, just Mm -hmm. making mobile games at first. Oh, Amateur Surgeon. Superbia Disney. by Disney. Well, they got like Disney. So they they've been they've been <laughs> Gears Pop. Remember Gears Pop? Uh, Gears. Remember Gears Pop? You I guys know. remember? No. Nope. <laughs> no. Anywho, so Fable. Yeah, so they they've no. been kind of the license people <laughs> basically. Yeah, huh? I like it. Anywho, classics. The Cla- oh yeah, yeah. Yahtzee with buddies. Oh, can't forget Yahtzee with buddies. Who could forget? Um, but yeah, the purchased by Epic. So hopefully. That means they stay around for a while. New content. I mean, yeah. with that Fortnite money, there, yeah, they'll be around. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, this it's kind of funny because like people thought of this as competition to Fortnite at one point. Fall well, guys, fun. it's a fun game. Like, have you got? Have you played Fall Guys? No. It's a fun. It's a fun game. It's now on Switch, I think, too. Now. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's a fun, like, super fun. It's like it's a battle royale, but it feels like you know, not really. But it's just like a race to the end. Yeah, right? no, there's, so there's different modes. There's like, there's like, like obstacle courses that mm-hmm. you race. There's like, there's like guessing ones where it's like you're on a platform and it's like step on the one that's going to be cherries and like it'll just, it's kind of like Mario Party in the sense mm-hmm. that uh, some of them, there's like, like, some luck based. Yeah, there's, there's like team based games too. Yeah, there's team based. There's like soccer and stuff. That, that's and that's kind of quirky because, yeah, they don't move very well. Like, you, you're kind of like this. Thing that falls around all over the place. Is it kind of like Gang Beast in the way that the movement? Yeah, yeah, it feels like Gang mm-hmm. Beast. Really, okay. like, kind of clunky, but it's like, that's kind of the fun part about it. And um, actually, that's who I thought made this game. Yeah, <laughs> you thought. The person, like, who made Gang Beast or yeah. even Fall Flat or something. Yeah, 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 Double Fine. But, um, uh, yeah, it's it's fun. So it's hard to get. I never really get salty playing this game. That's, I think, <laughs> why this game feels kind of good. Because if you lose, it's still kind of cute. <laughs> It's like oh no I fell like <laughs> you know yeah. so I don't really hate it but some you know, I don't really hate it <laughs> but it it's you know good for them get your money congrats um speaking of getting bought out by companies oh yeah Bethesda is now officially part of Team Xbox was it seven point five mil a billion it's a lot of money it's a lot of money big money. And now all their games are now on Game Pass. And, I mean, not surprising. 
Yeah. I just hope this leads to a new, a new Elder Scrolls because I mean, I mean, the I mean, Elder Scrolls is coming. Kind of, well, I mean, they've announced they announced it like a long time ago, mm-hmm. but yeah, they didn't really do much much with it. I mean, I just want you know something like unique that makes Xbox get something. <laughs> well, I mean, like you, like for their own like brand. a whole new IP. Yeah, I would be yeah. cool with that something you know because I feel like most of their stuff is multi-platform yeah at this point yeah, true I'm gonna feel bad for the other platforms that like you know like played Evil Within 1 and 2 or like uh, like even like Prey or like Doom and then if it becomes like a first party game where like Evil Within 3 is only on Xbox yeah, yeah it's gonna be like pretty messed up yeah yeah I, I don't want that I would say just a brand new IP that Xbox just has. Well, they have that Indiana Jones one coming out now, yeah. right? And so that's that may that very might well be. be. Yeah. yeah, who knows? But like the, I mean, I remember when they got first bought. First of all, Xbox bought Zenimax, which is the parent company of Bethesda, mm-hmm. and it was very vague terms like being used. Of course, it's like to appease the shareholders, but a lot of it didn't really scream exclusive content for mm-hmm. Xbox. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of questions like, are they even getting console exclusives? <laughs> or is this just like, they're making money? Which, I mean, if they're coming at this from a money point, why wouldn't you put it on more consoles to make more money? Mm-hmm. You know? It's like when they put Ori on the Switch, it's technically an Xbox game. Yeah. But they put it on the Switch, same mm-hmm. with Minecraft. You know? I like. I feel like Microsoft's gonna want to make their money back, and it's gonna be a lot harder to make your money back if you're like, nope, this is only on Xbox. Well, I mean, it's, it depends what their end goal is. If they're trying to kill PlayStation, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, that that would be the way to do it. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I don't think that would be the ultimate plan. Yeah. Because PlayStation is so ingrained now in gaming. So it's almost impossible. It's like saying we want to kill Nintendo. Yeah. No, you know, yeah. you can't do it. Mm-hmm. You know. In fact, like, I think I remember reading a story like people from Microsoft tried to buy Nintendo when they were like early yeah, Xbox yeah. stages, and Nintendo laughed at them yeah. basically. <laughs> like, what do you guys know? Yeah. So it kind of it's kind of funny that um, they're still trying to buy out studios and do stuff. But I mean, at least they're doing something. Though, at least they're because, doing something. At least like, yeah. you know, God knows when Halo's coming out. So soon. Some news is better than any news. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, did you hear that you can knock things off of Halo, off the ring? Yeah, let me see. It. Amazing. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How, I don't that's really know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, moving on. You can't play as an elite. I play Morrowind though. I mean, it's it's pretty fun so far. <laughs> I mean, I, I never had to play one on the Xbox, but facts. Moving on. A little departure from gaming. Space Jam, Space Jam 2 to be exact. Let's go. <laughs> we have actual pictures, like official pictures from the, the movie. LeBron James. LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> Very own on the Toon Squad. Um, mm. So, you know, everybody's back for the most part. Not popular few. Not Pepe Le Pew, because he he's, he's got, he got canceled. He's problematic. What did um, he do again? He, uh, he's, he's toxic. He's not he's toxic. He's, he harasses women. Oh, okay. You know, so... Like the boys like, or him? So no, no, the, no, the, no, the, the character. He kind of got Speedy Gonzalez in a sense, where it's like, mm, swipe that away, you know. So that he's gone. Um, they censored Lola. Which was like did they? all, all over, yeah, like, was did, all yeah. over the place. Um, yes. I mean, yes, because I saw like a picture. I'm like, yeah, they did. They did play her down a little bit. Mm-hmm. Why is that playing her down though? I don't know because I guess they made her too sexual. Like, why did they kids? make her sexual in the first place? I mean, I I I don't care, but I aren't guess... bodies bodies and like who projects certain things onto them? Hmm. Like, why can't that body be as, like, sexually gratifying as, like, super curvy, fat ass, big tits, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it's, that's, so, yeah, they, they, she's different now. Well, I mean, anatomically, bunnies don't have, like, breasts. 
You know, true. <laughs> like, yeah. true. I mean, it, it, it's it's how far do you want to go with the, the like um, what's the word um, to make animals into like the personification? That's an anthropomorphic. And there you go. Like how much you want to make that a thing? Like you know, like make them into like as human as possible. I mean, yeah. but like Bugs Bunny like doesn't have like. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I see where you're yeah. going. I see you. Uh, well, I think that was definitely like a sort of like a calling card of the character when she initially w- appeared in the first. Yeah, because she was supposed to. She was like Bugs' crush, no? Yeah. So, oh, so the viewer is supposed to also have a crush? I guess. I don't know. It was a. It was an element of her of her character. You know what I mean? But that it, that could still be an element of her character. She could still be romantically appealing, mm-hmm. even if she's not overtly sexualized yeah and i think in this new era you know what i mean especially since um i think of i think of gg bryan the late gg bryan mm-hmm. i think of young girls who are also watching sports and not to say that no not to say that the the fact that we're like four guys in here talking about women's bodies right yeah. then and there and I want to know yeah. something so I'm yeah. trying to be careful yeah, but the fact of the matter is I think what's more important than like Lola Bunny being a sexual figure for male audiences and for bugs is that she as what we're perceiving as the only female character on this team is that mm-hmm. young girls look at her and say I want to be like Lola Bunny mm-hmm. that's what's more important that is true that's a good point good point Shazza <clears throat> I mean, I mean, to bounce off of that, yeah, yeah, it's also a kid's movie, you know? Sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's also, like, it, you know, you know, save that for your own little sketches at home if you really mm-hmm. want to. Mm-hmm. You know. Rule 34. Rule 34, <laughs> yeah, if you want. I'm not doing that on this computer, no. <laughs> not on this one. Not on this one. <laughs> not on this, one. <laughs> <laughs> this one is different. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I totally agree, you know. You know, I. I hope this movie is more welcoming for you know young girls and women to be able to watch. Hence, like Pepe Le Pew's not in it anymore. Yeah. You know, so I think they're just trying to make it more of a safer. Um, and movie. yeah, and to be honest, it's, it's kind of like the Final Fantasy Seven like Tifa thing. You know, it's like yeah. why was it like so much? Like yeah. That, you know, why is it a problem? It doesn't, and why is it a problem if it's not like that? Yeah. yeah. Um, what does it add to the movie? Yeah. You know, for her to like. Be yeah, that yeah, way. yeah. It's like. This is, you know, in the end, this is still a movie about, like, fucking basketball mm. and cartoons, yeah. you know. It's not it's not porn, you know. Yeah. Is, <laughs> you're, you're watching this to watch LeBron dunk on some, like, cartoon characters, yeah. you know. <laughs> not, <laughs> not on. Oh, I am. What? Yeah. No, you better. Yeah, you that, what? I don't know. No, what I was thinking, <laughs> no, no, I was thinking of, uh, like, I thought you were saying that LeBron was facing down. Oh yeah, oh, I don't even know. No, I mean, no, who did they well, play? They, I don't remember. The, I mean, the, the Moon Squad. Squad. The, the Moon Squad. Squad. Yeah. Is that the Goon? So they're bringing the monsters back too? Or I don't know. Talk about the like. What the I'm a monster. Is that right? I didn't read much of that. the first one. I don't remember it that well to be yeah, honest. Yeah. Well, they're the Back monsters. I remember it impeccably. I watched the show that. Yeah, they're from Mars. The little aliens. Shaq does kung fu in it, right? There's no Shaq. And they take powers from like people. Oh my goodness! And then you. That's Shazam. No, no. The video game of Shaq 2? Oh, I never played that. Oh, yeah, no, me neither. Like, it's like a meme, though. Um, but yeah. I don't... When is this movie supposed to come out? It's supposed to come out this, this year. year. Is it HBO Max? It's supposed oh, to yeah, be. I think it is. Yeah, I think it's like an HBO Max thing, too. But it's coming out. It's supposed to be like the grand return to like theaters. So you're going to be... Oh. Yeah, they're, they're probably pushing hard, huh? Buy AMC. It can happen. Buy AMC. <laughs> we're, we're, we do not know anything about stocks. <laughs> July sixteenth. July sixteenth. Oh, no. So streaming, yeah. We'll we'll see. But July sixteenth. I think that's actually very possible. Streaming um, also. But is that time we will be open by July sixteenth. Yeah, yeah there. Right, it's possible. Yeah. I think yeah. I think theaters especially if the vaccines. Having the insider scoop, like they're on um, this, they're trying to have us back in April. Okay. Okay. Like the end of April. Are you gonna get fired for Donuts? Okay. Oh my god. That's no. I mean, it's off just the like record. <laughs> it's like what the but hoping. recorded. I mean, everyone's hoping to come back as soon as possible. What about yeah. uh? So that's your theory, though. What about like 
Yeah, well, I mean, New York just got cleared, I think. Or LA County. One of the yeah, big ones New just York. got cleared. Yeah, the Broadway's coming back. Yeah, I yeah. know the AMC theaters were opening like, a lot in, in the East Coast. And yeah, that's... A couple of them were opening up. The East Coast and LA and, like, um, those were the markets that um, theaters were, like, really worried about. And so that's why they shut everything else down. Because it's, if those markets weren't open, films weren't going to be released. Uh-huh. And so there was no point in staying open anywhere else. Anyway, <laughs> close off news. Mario dies this month, um, in a sense. Uh, Mario 3D All Star Collection oh, right, will right. no longer be available. Ready to jump on that? <laughs> I don't have space. Uh, I do um, like SD card. After March 31st, Shit. He, they will no longer be available. Wait, so so what is hit up your target. It's Mario Not 64, Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy. All three games, $60. Um, yeah. You can buy a physical. Yeah, you can buy physical. Go to the oh, store true. if you want. Oh, true. Target, Walmart, etc. Um, it is game, full price. <laughs> it's full price. Sixty smack They're not gonna bring it down. No, oh, it's Nintendo. No. We're taking it away. They're just they don't they're, care. they're like, <laughs> we don't need your money. Yeah, <laughs> we're just putting this away for a while. And I was reading like some people hypothesizing that they're just gonna sell them separately for twenty dollars each. After I heard that was like a rumor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. like they're gonna do it separately. That's why they're stopping. <laughs> but I really hope not. I I hope they just like keep it. But and then yeah, they're getting rid of thirty first. Also, getting rid of these guys, the little game and watch things. Also, um. So basically, yeah, Mario just dies <laughs> after the thirty first. So all that Mario collection stuff, hurry up and go get it while it's still out there. And then they're making room, I don't know, part of the Zelda. I mean, yeah, I guess. They're just trying to create <clears throat> demand. Probably hype, you know? Yeah. You know, Build I can pass on this. But if they do, like, a three, like, Zelda game, like Majora's Mask, right. and, like, some other two, right. like, I would hop on this shit. This they game. really are probably you think they, they will then? I after, really, after this? I really <laughs> <guess they laughs> It was are. pretty funny. I remember people talking about that online. It was like, oh, when are they going to do a Zelda collection? And everybody's listening to Zelda collection, and no one mentioned Skyward Swords. <laughs> and then the, the <laughs> thing came out, and it was like, You guys have been asking, and oh, we're gonna so remake dumb. just That's Skyward Sword. <laughs> it's it's like, not even <laughs> canonically accurate. He's not left, or he's not right handed. Yeah, yeah, they changed his so, hand. Mm-hmm. Same with that. Uh, well, Twilight Princess was worse. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, because they mirrored the game. Right, right. Everything, yeah. like, say, like, on GameCube, Link goes left, and the Wii, he goes right. That's weird. It's just them being lazy and just being like, we're just going to flip everything. Yeah. So that way he's right-handed, because Link is left-handed mm-hmm. traditionally, so. I don't know. <clears throat> um, this Duty All-Stars was for uh, Mario's 35th anniversary. Or yeah, so. it was, like, uh, to go with yeah. the Mario, like, theme of everything, mm-hmm. you know, Mario 3D World. Got released. That Game and Watch deal came right. out. I feel like something else did. You can buy this whole collection at the store. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, all you one can. cartridge. Yeah, yeah, all one cartridge. Okay. I mean, yeah, because Mario is like. I've heard nothing <laughs> but great things about Sunshine and Galaxy. Sunshine's Sunshine cool. Is and Sunshine's classic. different. Sunshine's a very different Mario game mm-hmm. than the others. Isn't it like ska music? There is ska music. <laughs> It's very. It, oh, it's, look at me. You know what vapor, <laughs> vaporwave is? Yeah. yeah. It's like, that's basically oh, Mario's movie, aesthetic but... in that game. Yeah. Mm. Delfino Plaza, though, that song slaps. Yeah. It's a it's a good game, though. Yeah. Like, it's just a very different Mario, which I think is a good like break from these two. Because this, mm. you know, this is traditional. Mm. And this is like a remix of traditional, but this is like its own. Thing, so. Like the play style is different. Yeah, yeah, play style is totally different because you have the little water buddy. Um, mm-hmm. A lot of the puzzles are different. You you talk to people more as yeah. opposed to this one. It's kind of like jump on shit, you know. And yeah. this one is like float around to different planets and jump on shit. Mm-hmm. But this is like bosses. You need to like do stuff with the water gun mm-hmm. or like chase people. Mm-hmm. It's, it's totally different, Would but you say it's really more good. gratifying. Uh, yeah, a lot of people really get into that one the most. In mm-hmm. fact, a lot of people like speed run it and stuff. It's so fun. It's yeah. a, it is a good game. Really good game. Like, uh, I mean, they're all really good games. Mm-hmm. So totally worth getting. I mean, that's a, just $60 a lot of money. 
yeah. to ask for games that are at least 13 years old. Nintendo. But they're classics. They are classics. In 10 years, they'll have a new console and yeah. do the same thing and for $80. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. true. Yeah. And this will probably be worth money. And we'll still buy it. Yeah, because it's a classic. Yeah, you can't buy it, you know. So... You Anywho. should also play Odyssey though if you haven't played Odyssey. Yeah, you buy it. Well, that was released in tandem with this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. Cool, like a year or two before this. Um. Yeah. Anyway, that that was news. Um. We're gonna close off with our final segment. Steve ranking Dark Souls games. Wait, wait, wait! Yeah. Before we forget, to uh, Shevis, you you were saying that you have. Oh yeah, question. Oh yeah. So we have questions. questions. Open ended. Open ended questions. Open. questions. Open. Well, really, it's just one. Shevis yeah, talking now. Uh, what's like your most memorable experience in gaming thus far? I know that's probably super loaded with this. Oh no, I mean, but I'm just asking you to pick one. That's a big question. That's a big question. You to pick one, like one that like, like a really memorable. I think mine is definitely just you know when we were in high school and I would always go over to Josh's house and play like uh, called zombies, called zombies. Or, or Halo, or, or yeah. Halo Rock Dyro, Rock yeah. Band. Like, just doing that in general was just fun. Yeah, you know what? Um, games um, have uh, really added to, like, my sociability, I guess. You know, like, not just, like, being able, being able to play with friends, like, you know, at my place and stuff, but, like, being able to play online with them and, like, talk to them online. And it was, like, not just about playing the game, but it was just about spending time with them. Mm-hmm. You know, and so like overall as a whole, like playing games like with friends and kind of just bullshitting, you know, even if we're not really focusing on the game so much, mm-hmm. is kind of what I like appreciate about games the most. Mm-hmm. I definitely. Uh, I'm trying to think, what's the most? Uh, that's why I also just piggyback off what Josh said. That's why that's what I really liked about World of Warcraft too. With like just a random, random, you know, a lot of random people just, you know. Because you have to, you know, group up to do dungeons and do raids and stuff like that. And you get to talk to, you know, meet the people that you play with. And I remember when I first played, I, like, I was an addict. At, you know, I used to play, like, like six, seven hours a day. A day. Mm-hmm. Like, when I wasn't, like, on, when it wasn't school, like, school day. So, so it was always, like, you're always, always talking to people and just, like, getting to know them. And, you know, go through those, those things, like, dungeons and mm-hmm. just, like. And all the crazy stuff that happens in those things, like, like you really get to meet the, like other people mm-hmm. and have fun with them. And if, if like talking to people in person is kind of hard too, mm-hmm. it really helps. Mm-hmm. Like I was, like I would say, like you can make friends online. You can like it makes it a lot easier to kind of approach people. Yeah, yeah just talking to games with like people, like talking about a game with mm-hmm. someone is like a good way to like get to know somebody. Like, yeah. oh, what games do you play? Like. You know, that's become such a common thing to ask now. Mm-hmm. It's like mm-hmm. for myself, anyway. I asked all my coworkers that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, it feels so natural now, but mm-hmm. I feel like 20 years Before, ago that was yeah. like kind of a weird thing to ask. Cause oh, you're a dork. Or you're yeah, a dork. like, I oh, you play video cool. games. Yeah. <laughs> now it's like very socially acceptable. Yeah. yeah. Like, just play video games all the yeah, time. Like free time. Yeah. My yeah. mom, like, wants to play Animal Crossing. Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. That's yeah, you basically play, like, a little phone game. You're just still playing games. I mean, like I said, that's how I got into gaming is because my mom, she got the Nintendo, but she, she likes Nintendo herself, too. She likes, you know, playing Mario, like, all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, she likes, really likes Super Mario 64. Yeah. Oh, for real? Yeah, so that's why I kind of want to get a Switch so I can get her, like, get, uh, let her play Super Mario 64. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really good. Um, I can't think of, like, a specific moment that, like, sticks with me I think really it's that feeling when you get really into a video game Mm -hmm. and you like look forward to playing it like for a day or Mm -hmm. something like that you make like a day out of Mm -hmm. it just playing that specific game Mm -hmm. like I do that all the time even now but that goes back to me just being like a kid being like oh sick I'm you know I got Persona 4 I'm gonna go play that like all day like for this weekend or like something like that even where it's just like, I'm going to spend a day. I did that, like, last weekend, basically, when I was like, oh, I'm going to play Yakuza all day, you know? <laughs> so it kind of still sticks with me, you know? I just feel like that's something that won't go away, even when mm-hmm. I'm, like, way older. I'm just going to still make time. Mm-hmm. So, because you, you, po- you post this video up right here, and yeah. that's what I vividly remember is, I remember I bought this game, yeah. Call of Duty 4, the, the Game of the Year edition, yeah. at, uh, at Kmart. Mm-hmm. And I remember like well, you know opening it up you know taking off the the film wrap and everything. yeah yeah that was exciting yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Kmart now it's like all digital really but 
still the same feeling though. This part's so hard on veteran too. This yeah. whole game is hard yeah, on veteran. Yeah, like, yeah this game, veteran. I thought like it was always crouching and avoiding grenades. Yeah. Because, like, those enemies. The one sniping yeah. level, dude, that one was worse. Yeah, at the very end with the Paris dude, roll. Remember, like, Super in hard. Yeah. Level 2 with the Pavella mission? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where you're like, and, oh my god. You're like, surrounded. You're surrounded. Yeah. And, like, that game was set up where you have to go forward or yeah. you die. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because they just keep respawning. Yeah, they just yeah. spawn. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's an infinite spawn of enemies, and I was like, oh my god. Gotta get good. Yeah, basically. <laughs> just like in real life. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, infinite pave- Pavellas, but. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for me for that. What about you? I'm talking about so Cuphead. Far, yeah. Cuphead. You talk about Cuphead? Cuphead yeah. <laughs> um, like, every day I play for two hours. Mm-hmm. Is it a set time or is it whenever you can? It's whenever. It's usually like when I get home from work. Okay. Um, so like, there was one day where I was like, I don't want to be like mentally invested. So I'm just going to like play, but I'm not going to like be super conscious about my, like about winning. I'm not going to like be like, Okay, that was a bad move. Don't do that again. Okay, that was a good move. Do that more. Like I'm just gonna play and not be like super mentally like present. Just enjoy play. yourself. Yeah, mm-hmm. I guess so. But while I was playing, I was like, well, if my head's not in it, then that's not really like, what's the point of playing if I'm not playing to get better? And it was kind of like a light bulb moment. Mm-hmm. And so like I was like, oh, maybe I should like approach life like that. Like, yeah, like, get my head into the shit that I'm doing, even if I'm just like brushing my teeth. It's like, well. Let me get my head into it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. let me, like, I don't know, figure out, like, the best way to brush my teeth. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, like, OCD or, like, I need, like, hyper stimula- stimula- stimu- stimulation. Stimulation. But it was just, like, oh, like, I should live my life. Like, I should just get my head into, like, everything that I'm doing, whether I'm driving or, like, spending time with people I care about, like, being mentally engaged and not just, like, uh-huh. floating through life. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, like I, I love that game, and so like that was like a moment I had playing it where I was like, oh, yeah, no, it's a, into it. um, yeah, I I agree with that. That's really insightful. Well, well. <laughs> Anything? Oh, good question. Okay, okay. Yeah, great question, Chadwick. Thank you. DJ underscore Capricorn. <laughs> DJ so, Capricorn. What do we uh? What what do we have in Steve? Um, Steve maybe? will be ranking. So I thought to introduce this new uh, segment into the podcast. It doesn't. I mean, ideally, I just want it just to be Steve ranked and shit. Yeah. But. Why is Steve's opinion so high? Because. Because I mean, this, well, <laughs> I feel like I don't really hear Steve's hot takes on much things. Okay. And be, because like you and me, we're very not afraid to say, "Oh, this game sucks. This game's good. Yeah. This is the best game." Yeah. But Steve kind of just plays games. That's true. So I kind of yeah, Steve kind of just like oh that game's pretty good. Oh I'm playing this right now. You know this mm-hmm. is fun. So I want Steve to just like you know you wanna, go yeah. in. Yeah okay. Yeah, just okay. rank them. Okay. You yeah. know so I well I don't know I don't know if I want to do Dark Souls right now. Okay. Well, I'm, I haven't completed Dark Souls two. Gotcha. So, I mean how much have you played of it? Well I mean I I, I play like oh I haven't completed so I don't know if it's halfway but I, I feel like I played a good amount. I mean, if anything, we can just put like have not played yet. You can rank the ones yeah. you have played. I mean, I definitely I've I've, I've played a lot of one and I played. I mean, I I got threes this year and mm-hmm. that one's really fun. So I feel like I'll just rate them. So All right, let's, let's 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 put on notepad. Let's do it right now. Dark Souls rank okay. ranking, and you can. So let's let's think of them all. So you haven't played Demon Souls, right? Or have you? Demon Souls? Yeah. Uh, no, I have not. Well, we'll put Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 3. And go. Sekiro? Have you played Sekiro? No, I haven't. So, yeah, actually, really? I don't know if I want to do this one yet. Lords of the Fallen? No, because Lords of the Fallen. Lords of the Fallen. It's trash. Okay, okay well, let's do a different ranking. Uh, okay, yeah, so I'll, the one I mentioned before was definitely... Shooters? Yeah, the FPS. Cause, okay, okay, Steve yeah. will rank shooters throughout my whole life. Top... Five or ten? Oh, let's just, nah, let's just top five. Top five? five? That's, yeah. Okay. Okay. Just we'll start. We'll start. We'll start bottom. We'll start bottom. Five, wait, wait, five. wait. Are there any rules to this? Like, are uh, they, any you kind have of to have beaten them. You have to have beaten You've them. Beaten them. And is this multiplayer only? No, or? it could be no, single, single player. player. Single For player. For whatever reason. 
Yeah, it could be single player or multiplayer mm. preference. Like it could be like, oh, I like Call of Duty, like Modern Warfare Three, but I like the multiplayer, okay. not the single player or whatever. Okay. You know, and that affects where it is. Okay, like, yeah, yeah, it could affect because if it, like single player and the multiplayer is good, obviously it's yeah, gonna be higher. Okay, okay, so, okay. But I mean, this is Steve's prerogative, you know. Let him, let him pick okay. what he wants. All right. Let's hear it. So I'm in number five. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one. <clears throat> Might be here for a while. No, it's okay. We're chilling. Yeah. We're doing this podcast, you know. You want to bring the donuts in here? What's up? You want to grab the donuts? Would that help you think? <laughs> no. I'm good. Uh, uh, let's do focus. Let's see. Can I'm, I know, like, my number one for sure. Really? Yeah. Okay, oh, I guess it's like, like, so sure for sure. Okay, we start number one. <laughs> what did you say? Nothing. <laughs> What's number one, Steve? What is Definitely going to be Halo 3. Halo 3. Halo 3 for sure. Number one? Halo yeah, 3, ah, uncontested. Okay. Halo 3 for the fact that it was it was my first... Actually, it was not my, my first FPS. My first FPS was Medal of Honor Rising Sun. Nice. That actually, one, that's a good one. That was one. a deep cut. Yeah, that was really fun. Um, but Halo 3 for the fact that it was my first Halo game. It was the first game I got on my 360. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it was, I... I Put so many fucking hours into that game. It's pretty revolutionary. It, yeah. Time, yeah. Um, the multiplayer, the off, well, single player obviously is really fucking good. Yeah. Um, you know the it was supposed to be like you know the final like, the mm-hmm. final game of mm-hmm. Halo. Yeah. Um, so you know the the story was just beautiful, uh, and the multiplayer itself is just really good. Um, I think I met a lot of people like random people, yeah. like just playing Halo online. Um, actually, I remember. I could probably show you guys later. Like I, uh, I found like I met up the um like some dudes like they were on the same age as me. Yeah. And we made like a Halo clan. Yeah. And one of them knew how to do like a lot of like filming and stuff. So like there's a video of like me like way back then. <laughs> Whoa. So, yeah. Like, quick scope cam. You like red versus blue kind of thing or? Uh no, not red versus blue. It was supposed to be like it was supposed to be like a like an intro video to like our in- to our clan. Oh. But he after that he stopped going on Xbox as often, so he we ended up forgetting about it. But he made the first video. It was a cool video. Um, and it's still up? Yeah, it's still on YouTube. Yeah. Wow. wow. We're going to have to look this yeah, up. We're going to have to find that later. Um, and I think just the fact that like we did stuff like that, or I did stuff like that, that makes it my number one. Because, you know, just so much uh, like stuff that I remember doing in Halo 3. Like, online and... Uh, in Legendary, like, Legendary mode. Uh, for co-op for, and stuff. For co-op, yeah. yeah. yeah so good. Like, the Midmaster Achievements. Yeah. The mid- Midmaster Achievements are really, really fun. Yeah, those are... Yeah, tough. So I think that that's recon why it's one. What? That recon armor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's definitely the reason why it's number one. My number, one. Right. My number two, I would probably say... All right, we're just going to go down. Yeah. Number two would definitely be Call of Duty 4. Yeah. Um, and I think, like, a lot of stuff we mentioned earlier was... It was really, like... It, I mean, it was a really fun campaign, but it was, it was tough. And I think that's what I liked about it. It was, like, um, it was really challenging. Yeah. Uh, at the time, um, I mean, I was only like what fourteen, fifteen. Yeah. Um. So it was really, really fun, and the uh, multiplayer was really good. I liked it. Um, mm-hmm. What was your game mode? My game mode, Search and Destroy, definitely. Yeah, Search yeah. and Destroy was definitely mm-hmm. the hardcore, yeah. oh, the most. Damn. Yeah, you one of those. Mm-hmm. No you respawns. Five to this. <laughs> <laughs> you got one. Uh, number three. And I'm probably going to start including Battle Royales into this, so I'll definitely Apex. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Apex is definitely my third. Um, the movie in that game is just, it's incredible. Uh, I tried going back to Call of Duty, and it's just so slow. Did you play uh, Titanfall? Titanfall? Were you Titanfall 2, no. Uh, so, so maybe that would have been up there. Like that, yeah. But yeah. since I haven't played it or completed it, it's not going to go up there. But I've heard a lot of good things about it, so... I think it's on Game Pass. No, it isn't. It, it is on Game Pass, and that's the thing. I, I just, like, I, I see it on Game Pass, and I just don't download it. <laughs> yeah, you should play, play it. it. Yeah. Um, so, um, I'll definitely play it, and maybe it will affect the, the ratings, um, or my rankings. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I'll definitely look into that. Apex, though, is... Yeah, Apex very, is the shit. Uh, I really like it. It's probably my favorite um, Battle Royale right now. Number four. Yeah, that's a tough one. Getting down there. Yeah, it is. It is. Well, what's on your mind? Like, what? Like, yeah. what are you teasing out of? 
I'm trying to see if, if there was any other Call of Duty because like the other Call of Duty definitely that I would probably play the most was Black Ops Two. Black Black Ops Two was really fun. Yeah, I remember that. Um, I think that's the only game where I ended up getting like all the DLC. Because of zombies. Huh? Yeah, because of zombies. Yeah. Um, would you put that on the list? Which one? Would you put this on the list? Would you rank this in? Yeah, I think I was gonna put that. In, yeah, definitely as my number four. Definitely number four. Um, yeah. Actually, no. Like, let's let's keep that right there on the list for, okay. for right now. Okay. Might keep it on. So. Um. What else is on my? I'm trying to think. I feel like I'm just block. Like I have a block right now. Like I've played many FPS. Like Doom. Doom. Oh, um, there was one I wanted to mention. What was that? Overwatch. Yeah, would you? Yeah, would you call it? it yeah, games, it is an FPS. Yeah, it's just like a team based. Like Actually, you're right. Uh, you're right. No, because I, I didn't think of it as an FPS at first, but you're right. Overwatch was definitely a part of my gaming. Because uh, I mean, yeah. I, so I played Overwatch it. all the time. Yeah, you were, you were so pretty into it. it yeah. That was um, a big part of the year. 2016, 2017. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to think of a FPS. Uh, Rising, you could put Rising Sun up there. Rising Sun was definitely like. You want to rank that? that? You put that four. I you? think so. I would definitely put it as four because it, it definitely brought me into FPS. Um, and honestly, it's pretty accurate in like the history campaigns, like what they did, because uh-huh. it follows like you know the first thing is you know the Pacific War. It's, per, right? uh, it's Pearl Harbor. Yeah, that's how it enters the game. Is like you're just a that's like right. a like you know just yeah. soldier on on one of the ships, yeah. and you're you know shooting at the at the planes. Um, that's shooting a ship, and yeah, it, it was a really good game. Um, it's a nice Medal of Honor, and like it yeah. follows you like throughout like through the Pacific, like Guadalcanal and mm-hmm. Saigon. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a really good game, actually. I wish they would remake those, like Frontline. I remember too, like that's yeah, Frontline was one too. Yeah, like if they could remake those, mm-hmm. that'd be so good. But oh well. Um, I can't remember that's not that. You're not an FPS. I mean, you have these two. Yeah, there. no, you're right. I'll, I'll probably you have to put pick one Overwatch. You want to put Overwatch? Yeah, because it was definitely yeah. The Overwatch has was, I played that a lot, a yeah. lot. Remember that time when you know, like you would always like no, you you like you stayed over for my place like for like a month I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I would always just play Overwatch I think. And yeah. I remember when the beta came out. I like it. I that's what really made me want to play it because of the beta. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Um, it's still really good. Yeah. Yeah. It's... I remember when it first came out, um, it was basically the, like, the, the no limits mode. Yeah, yeah, Where, yeah. like, there was, like, no limits to what characters you chose. Yeah, so, it was, like, literally, everything. like, six Torbs or, yeah. or six Symmetras. Oh, so annoying. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, they pretty much had to put those limits there to yeah. make it fair, but I, I guess <laughs> it was fun at first. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think there you have it. Yeah, those are my, my, my five, my top five top five. Wow. Two ranks. Yeah, I mean, that, I know they're probably not your top five, but... I, I don't even think I've played five shooters, so... <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I, 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 I don't... What? No, that's Does Brazil even count? Not first person. Oh, so first person? Well, I mean, seven, maybe. I mean, yeah, that would count. And then Apex and uh, mm-hmm. PUBG, that's already three right Did there. You, you never played Killzone? Was Killzone not... Uh, Perfect. I didn't play it. I knew it existed. Oh, uh, you played never played it? it. Oh. Um, the only, like, shooter I, like, really got into was, like, Modern Warfare 2. Yeah. And that was, like, about it. I think the only other thing I kind of got close was Overwatch, I guess. But other than that, no. Like, I mean, shooters weren't really my thing growing up. Yeah. I didn't really play them. Oh, that's fair. So yeah, you're more really... dignified. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was playing with JRPGs and yeah. fighting games or whatever. I wasn't really playing. Deep thinker. I, I guess. I don't know. I just... <laughs> different taste at the time. <laughs> um, I mean, I wish I played more of these because I feel like... I did play Medal of Honor, the remake one. Mm-hmm. That was like a Modern Warfare oh, one. Oh, yeah. I played that. I didn't like it too much. It was okay. Why did you want it? I because it was kind of funny. I was like, oh, I played that. Yeah, I gave, <laughs> yeah, I gave it to you. Mm. But I, I mean, I, I, yeah, I can't really. I guess I could rank them, but it's like out of the five, which one's number one? Um, but yeah, that's Steve's ranks. We'll, we'll probably have more of these. Yeah, yeah definitely have more of mine. 
Um, yeah. Just thinking about it because I was thinking of a lot of games that are. Wait, that's not an FPS. I can't wait for like one of those like a super hot take like best platformer ever is Conker's Bad for a Day or something. I mean, it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't even don't even start that. I could argue. Don't even argue that. <laughs> don't even argue that. Okay, we we should probably wrap this up though. Um, is there anything else from you guys? Mm-hmm. No. Um, yeah, anything. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being episode. a fantastic guest, Shevis. Thank you for having me. You I miss are, you guys. You, we miss you as well. Yeah, we always live here. You're always welcome yeah. whenever you want to come over just to even hang out. It doesn't have to be the, the camera aside. We can just hang out. <laughs> um, but, yeah. We can play Cuphead Coleman. Alright, but yeah, thanks for, thanks for having us and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.